Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about JDBC batch execution, which is also known as batch processing. All right, guys. So guys, for this demo, we'll be using MySQL database and we'll talk about add batch function, execute batch and clear batch function. All right, guys. So that being said, let's begin the video. Now guys, first of all, what is batch execution exactly? So guys, batch execution means we group multiple SQL statements into a batch and then we submit that batch to the database. So basically, we execute multiple SQL statements as a one transaction. All right, guys. Now guys, batch execution can be achieved either by using the statement object or by using the prepared statement object. We'll talk about each one in this video. All right, guys. Now, guys, the basic flow of batch execution is something like this. So, guys, first of all, we create a statement object by using create statement method. Okay. And then we set auto commit to false by using set auto commit function. Then we add multiple SQL statements to the batch by using add batch function. And then we execute all the SQL statements using execute batch method. And finally, we commit all the changes to the database by calling commit function. All right, guys, let's move. Now, guys, first is batch execution by using the statement object. So, guys, we are going to have multiple SQL statements. We'll have multiple insert SQLs, right? We'll have one update and then one delete SQL. So we are going to add each SQL to the batch and then we'll submit all the SQLs as a single transaction to the database. All right, guys, let me start the IDE. I'm going to make use of the existing project, MySQL dash JDBC. So guys, in this example, we have seen how can we connect to the database and perform DB operations like insert and select and all. All right, guys. So what I will do, I'm going to create another class here and I'm going to call it JDBC batch example now guys first of all here i will write the steps that we are going to follow okay first of all we register the driver class then we'll create the database connection and then we'll create the statement object okay guys before this we'll set auto commit to false here only after creating the connection then we'll create the statement object then we'll write then we'll write multiple sqls we'll add SQLs to batch by using add batch function. Then we'll run the batch by calling execute batch function. And then we'll commit the changes to the database and finally close the database connection. Okay. So guys, we are going to follow all these steps. All right, guys. The first of all, we'll register the database drivers, right? So what I will do, I will use the for name function of the class class dot for name class dot for name and here we'll pass the db2 driver class so i'll copy from this particular example so we'll be using the same database drivers okay now guys what it says it says unhandled exception class not found okay and i will simply move this one here all right now guys next step is to create the database connection so what i will do I will be using the class driver manager and the function is get connection with the arguments database connection URL, username and password. Okay. So I'll add the URL in a moment. My database user ID is root and password is admin. It could be different for you guys. Okay. Connection URL I'll copy from the this particular program because I'm going to make use of the same database and same tables. Okay. Now what it says unhandled exception of type SQL execution. Okay. So this is cool. Now guys next we have the connection. So let me do one thing connection connection equals to null and here i will assign this connection to the connection object let's go and import connection from java.sql package okay now guys we will set auto commit to false so guys this is the very important step okay now next is to create the statement object so what i will do i will use a statement st equals to and then i will use connection dot create statement function okay let's go and import from java.sql package okay guys let me do one thing equals to null and I will remove this one from here. Okay. Now guys, we are going to write multiple SQLs. So I already have the SQLs with me. I have got multiple insert statement, one update, one delete, and then another insert. Okay. Next step is to add the SQLs to the batch by calling add batch function. Okay. So what I will do, I will use a statement object st dot add batch and then I will pass the SQL. So SQL one. Okay. Then statement dot add batch. I will pass SQL two. So basically we are adding all the SQLs to the batch by calling add batch function. Okay. Statement object dot add batch and then SQL st dot add batch SQL four. 
st dot add batch sql number five and then the last one st dot add batch sql six all right guys now next thing is to run the batch by calling execute batch function okay now we need to run we need to run the batch so what we'll do we'll use st dot execute batch execute batch is the function okay now guys if you see this particular function it returns an array of integer type values okay so what i will do i will create integer array let's call it status equals to like this so guys execute batch function will result an array of integer values like other one or zero so one is successful execution of the sql zero is failed okay now let's go and do sys out here sys out batch execution status equals to plus i will use arrays dot to a string and then i will pass the array here okay now guys next thing is to commit these changes to the database so if you guys noticed here we have used auto commit to false why because we want to manually commit the transaction so what i will do i will use connection dot commit function to commit the transaction okay and finally we are going to close the connection connection dot allen walk close function connection dot close simple okay now guys as part of good practice i am going to add a finally block here right and i am going to close the statement if it is not null i am going to st dot close okay and what it says start with try catch all right and then i will do same with the connection connection is not null so basically guys in case of exception i want to close the connection in the finally block okay let's go and add try catch this is good all right now guys as i said earlier that we are going to make use of the mysql database okay so let me show you the table I'm going to open the command prompt. I will use MySQL dash V. So guys, I'm using MySQL database server version 8.0.27. Okay. I will log into the database server. MySQL dash U root dash P. It will prompt me for the password. Okay. Now guys, I'm going to show you the databases which I have. So I will use use and then user DB. Okay. Now guys, let me just show tables here. So I've got one table called user. Let me just describe the table. That's cry user. So guys, our table has got ID, first name, last name, email, password, birth date, and gender. Okay. Now I'm going to now select star from user. So guys, as of now, we don't have any record in our table. It's a blank table. Okay. So let's go back to the program. We are going to run our program. Let me just run our program. Run as Java application. So guys, here you see the result. We have got one, 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 six times one value for each SQL. So we have six sqls that's why we have six ones here okay let's go to the table and verify so guys i'm expecting one two three insert right and then one delete and then one more insert so basically i want to see record number two three and four in our table okay i'm going to rerun the select star i can see three records two three and four one was there but we deleted the record number one all right guys so guys this is a very simple example of running multiple sqls by using java jdbc batch function all right guys now guys we are going to see the batch execution by using the prepared statement all right so guys i'm going to create another class and i will call it jdbc batch execution and i'm going to add ps ps stands for prepared statement okay you guys can give it a better name now guys here also we are going to follow the same steps but this time we are not going to create the statement object we'll be creating prepared statement object okay right and then we will not write multiple sqls we will write single sql single sql and we'll set and set multiple records okay so guys let's do that first of all we want to register the driver class so i'll simply copy the code from here i just want to save the time right so i'll copy i'll paste this one here try cache block i'll move everything here now next one is the database connection so i'll just from these two variables paste here let's go and create the database connection auto commit and until here okay so guys what we did here is we have registered the driver class then here we created the database connection by calling the get connection function of the driver manager class and then auto commit to false now guys here we are not going to make use of the create statement so i will remove we'll be using prepared statement okay prepare statement let's go and import the java.sql package okay and here let me just call it prepare statement okay pst simple okay now as we are going to create the object of the prepared statements i will use connection dot prepared statement now if you see here we have to pass a string value so basically we have to supply our sql here right so what i will do 
so guys i will just create our sql here before creating the prepared statement okay so i'm going to write a insert sql here insert sql equals to okay so insert into user table and here we'll supply the arguments okay so i'll pass here insert sql i missed the t here okay so this is cool right now guys we'll set the values here we'll try to insert multiple records okay so what i will do here i will use prepared statement and then pst dot set integer is for the index one and then it's going to be id right so id is integer value five similarly i will set the first name last name and the other so guys here so id is five first name column number three is last name email id password date of birth so i will change it to something like this and gender is female okay now guys what we'll do we'll call the add batch function okay so what i will do i will use pst dot add batch okay so guys if you noticed here prepared statement also has the add batch function and statement object also has the add batch function all right now let's go and insert one more record so guys i have added the data for one more record and again i'm going to call pst dot add batch okay let's go and set up for one more record okay i believe i think it's good enough let's do pst dot add batch so guys basically we are going to insert three records in our database now guys we need to run our batch by calling the execute batch function i'm going to call pst dot execute batch function okay now guys again same thing so guys if you see the written type it is going to return array of integer values right so what i will do i will use integer array status equals to execute batch okay let me just do the sys out result of batch execution equals to i will do same arrays dot to string to print the array okay now guys we are going to commit this change to the database manually so i will use connection dot commit function so if you see here here we are calling auto commit to false so we have to commit the transaction if you don't do it you will not see the changes into the database okay and then finally we are going to close the database connection by calling the close function okay now guys same thing as part of best practice we are going to close the statement prepare statement if this is not null final block pst dot close okay let's go and add try catch let's do same with the connection if connection is not equals to null connection dot close let's add try catch block all right so guys this is the best practice so in case of any exception you should always make sure to close the database connection to the finally block all right now guys it's time to run our program right right click run as java application so here you see the result of batch execution which is 111 because here we have executed three insert sqls 1 2 and 3 okay so now guys if you notice here when you use the prepared statement you don't have to write the sqls multiple times so basically we are reusing the same sql we are just supplying the arguments the parameters all right now guys let's go and verify the records into the table so we already had the record number 2 3 and 4 i want to see 5 6 and 7 as well select the start from user so guys here you can see the new record added here in our table right so guys in this video we have covered the batch execution by using the statement object and by using the prepared statement object all right so guys we are done with this video thank you for watching and please do subscribe my channel